Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I'm getting fairly close to uh, finishing up the uh, the remainder of this game, basically, or you know all the extra endings. As I think I'm heading towards the final, and or you know the ending that I haven't gotten yet, which incidentally I think is probably kind of like the main ending, maybe I don't remember. I, I know for sure it has like the most possible ways to get to it, basically. I feel like out of all the different endings, there's like I don't know how many different paths eventually wrap around to it. But anyways, where I'm at, I just beat uh, Team Star Wolf. And now instead of going on and, you know, staying here in Fachina and fighting off Oikini, I'm going to go gather some intelligence in the asteroid belt. So that is what we'll be doing next. With the miss. Oh, great. I remember this one. I think vaguely. There's... As much as I, I think this is why I hate missiles so much, if I probably. I, it's been a while since I've done this level, but. We are receiving an urgent message. It is from Commissioner Beltino. Fox, please respond. This is Commissioner Beltino Toad, who is Slippy's dad, by the way. Oh, well, I guess he said it. Dad, you're okay. That's great news. Oh, is Slippy there too? Hello, son. Hey, of course I'm here. Commissioner, I'm glad you are unhurt. Get here as quickly as you can. I have something important to tell you. Roger that. We'll set a course to your location. Take care, Commissioner. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Wait there, Dad. I'll be there soon. But first, we need to do something about the enemies in this sector. Let's get every last core. Rob, prep all ships for launch. Consider it done. I think we get an upgrade here, too. Maybe. Well, maybe it's after this level. I don't quite... It might be after this level, actually, but I think we get an upgrade for Fox's ship at some point. They've made it all the way to the asteroid belt. I don't believe it. This is may this may be the most dangerous foe we've ever faced. Well, as you can see, at least we don't have um, any enemies to deal with. We just have these missiles. So first thing, uh, unfortunately, like I've I think covered before, you can't um, you can't really fight missiles with uh, with missiles. And not that I have any missiles, I guess anyway. But, uh, why do I have a feeling this is going to be a really short part? <laughs> to some extent. Maybe. And I guess it depends on how many missiles they get out. I don't remember if we get any help or not, either. I don't think we do. But, uh, I'm not really sure. All I know is it launches missiles on, like, every single turn. So really, what you're going to have to do is take out that missile and then make your way up there with Fox to take out the base while Slippy's taking on the other missiles, more or less. Oh, you've got to get some kind of help. I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure you get some kind of help, hopefully. I hope. Um, but... So far, I just need to concentrate on blowing up all these missiles. I should be within range now. And there we go. Yep, yeah, so that wasn't bad. Yet. I mean, that was one missile. I've still got, like, at least three more to take out, I think. Two, yeah, two more, and then the one that's going to get launched next turn. And probably I'll have to take out another one, because I don't think Fox will be able to get there in one turn, either. I'm not going to let you get any further. Good job, Slippy. Okay. I like how Rob still continues to tell me this every... He's going to continue to tell me every single time, even though I've, I'm going to be facing off against, like, five missiles. I'm going to be quite a pro at this after this. And... I was like, it would help if I actually hit the missile. There we go. I took care of the missile. Congratulations, Slippy. You did something useful. You should feel proud of yourself. Enemy forces have launched another missile. Oh yeah, so see? We do get some help. I was gonna say, I, like, I was thinking maybe it was Falco, but I wasn't sure. Late again, Falco? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm behind schedule, but don't worry. I was equipping my Sky Claw with a multi-lock. You only have two turns remaining to destroy the enemy. Maybe that's what I was thinking of, but that wouldn't really quite make sense because I'm pretty sure, uh, pretty sure, um, 
He already has the multi-lock when you, like, see him otherwise. I'm not gonna quite get to that, am I? Let's just see if I make it there with Falco. No, nope. didn't think so. Unless I run into both of them with Slippy, they kind of crazy. No. Mothership sighted. I'm gonna blast that thing to pieces. Alright, well, I'll take on the missile first. And then I guess I'll take on... Our friend, the mothership. This is probably going to be a boring episode, because there's not really much to talk about or do, whatever, when you're just fighting off a bunch of missiles. Um, I feel like, because I know, anyways, I guess I'll, I'll talk about, I could just be completely mistaken, so there might be no point in me even talking about this. But like I said, I think Fox's ship maybe gets upgraded, like after this level, or sometime in the near future. Because this is kind of uh, one of the longer endings to get to. I know in like that one ending he gets the plasma shot, and I think in this one, if this, if I am correct in, uh, in what I'm recalling here, I think in this one he uh, he gets a twin laser instead. I think that's how it works. I could be, like I said, could be completely way off, but I guess we'll see. These guys aren't too bad though. These little ships. All these ones that are just like little ships that you know fly around everywhere are usually not too bad. So there's... Yeah, I guess I can take that thing out. Not really necessary, but oh, two more, three, mo five more, ten more, thirty more, all kinds. And I didn't even blow any of them up. That's fabulous. All right, you know what? Bomb them. Also, am I going to run into that laser? I, I can hear the laser. I don't know if I'm going to run into it or not, though. I guess not. I was like, I didn't pay attention to where I was going. Um, Wait, did that just flat out not hit him? Did he did he barrel roll out of that? Or was I just imagining that? I mean, I clearly locked onto him. I don't think that was... Okay. That wasn't one of those ships. That's also not one of those ships. Where is one of those ships? There he is. And we get a time bonus too, which is not really necessary on this uh, on this level for the most part. But you know, I can't complain. And there we go. Oh, we got one left. So that's it. It's finished. I'm not sure what he was talking about. I guess he's talking about he, him being finished because he pretty much is. I'm closing in on him now, and now he's dead. And now I just have to destroy the mothership. All right. I wonder what happened if I flew through that ring while I'm doing this. I wonder if I could have still picked up the bonus. Should have tried it. But then again, I probably would have gone flying out of the the, the beacons and missed the mothership completely, which would have been awkward. But nice. Okay, so now I just have that one missile left, I think, to take out. Which shouldn't be an issue, because I can easily get to a Slippy. Well, should not be an issue. Could be an issue, depending on how awful I am, but I guess we'll find out here. Uh, and you're not quite able to get all the way around there, are you, Falco? No. Just a little short. But Slippy can. Actually, Slippy has been... My real MVP here for this level, surprisingly, of all people. I think he's taking out the most missiles. Fox was just kind of wandering around on the left side there after he took out that missile. And then Falco came in and destroyed the base, I guess, so he's pretty useful too, but... Regardless, I have to give Sli uh, Slippy some credit, I guess. I'm trying to remember what the next level is after this. I feel like there's another boss in here. This. I don't, well, maybe this has a boss. Maybe. To make up for it being such a short level. I could be wrong, though, for all I know. It's been a while since I've done this ending. And I would appreciate it if I could actually hit him. Oh, come on. I was going to say. 
Oh, I got a time bonus, too. Okay. I guess that makes up for it. Sure. Well. What happens now? Yep. I had. I was like, I think there's a boss here. I, like, I didn't think about it until, like, afterwards. Good flying, gents. What was that? Oh, yeah. Biobrain. I was like... I thought it was another kind of uh, unique one, and it is. Um, um uh, I'm gonna use Slippy. It's a weird choice, I know, but I, I I don't remember exactly what he does. So I'm like, well, maybe I don't need the lock on. Maybe I just need power. I can rip right through him. His giant triangles. <laughs> Um, so far, this is the original form of the enemy core. What? What does that even mean? Yes, I got one. You're all over this. Thank you. The external cells have been destroyed. Strike now. That's what I'm, I was like, that's what I'm trying to do. Ha, perfect. What is he doing? So weird. Ow. Alright, come on. Seriously? Was that all I had to do? That was actually kinda easy. What? I thought he had like more than one stage to him or something. Well that was awkward. <laughs> Okay. Usually I love every dog fight, but that one was unpleasant. The important thing is that we made it through. I guess I was wrong about the, the spanner or whatever that one thing was called. That was probably the easiest boss so far. All enemy contacts destroyed. Let's get back to the station. Alrighty. So that is that. I am going to end this part here. Next part we'll resume with good old Beltino. And in the meantime, if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate hitting that like button. And potentially subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.